Hi Cancer, welcome to Magpie Moonchild and your general weekly tarot card for the week ahead. Um, let's see what we have for you. As always, the housekeeping is down below. Um, it's how you can find out how to book a personal reading, um, where to find me on other social media, um, how these general tarot scopes work, um, and also the subscription button if you feel so inclined as to subscribe to this channel. Uh, let's see what we have for you. What card do we have for Cancer for the week ahead? It feels like that one. Okay, you have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups is, um, it's quite a hard card actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's taking a look at a situation um, that you've invested a lot, a lot of emotional energy, um, a lot of emotion and possibly psychic energy as well. Um, you've poured a lot of yourself into this situation. It could be a work situation, it can be a relationship, um, it can be a friendship, um, but it's getting to the point where you think, do you know what, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I just, I'm not getting anywhere, I'm not getting back what I'm putting in, um, it's not making me happy, it's not making me emotionally fulfilled or content anymore, um, and it's, the, it's a hard decision to choose to walk away from this situation. But you know that overall, you will be okay. You will um, go and find a place where there is emotional fulfillment, where you are um, content. Because at the moment you're not content, it's almost like living a half-life, like you keep pouring something, your energy and emotion into something, and you're just not getting any happiness, any joy back. Uh, it could be love back. Um, please remember that if you have to earn love and affection, then that's not love. Um, love is unconditional and you should receive it regardless of anything that anybody does for you or whether they warrant that, whether they should give it to you or not. If it's being restricted, that is not love. Um, but this, this is recognizing those situations that are not fulfilling. It can be a job that you initially loved and there's been a change in dynamic and so you're not ha happy in work anymore or your um, aspirations have changed and so it doesn't fulfill the purpose of where you are, um, where you want to be. Um, it could be that the house that you moved into was great at the time but now you're moving, you, you feel the call to move somewhere else or to a different location. Um, and as much as you love your hometown or you love the house that you're in or you have all those amazing memories in it, you, you know that you're going to have to move forward and you're going to have to move on in this situation. Um, and there is turmoil and there is angst and there is pain and there is grieving attached to this major change. Um, but you know that overall you will be emotionally fulfilled and you will be happy where you move on to because right now this situation has fulfilled all it's ever going to be um, it can be a relationship where you're putting in more things have gone stagnant um, you've put in a bit of extra effort and you're not getting the same back um, or they just feel disinterested and you're thinking I'm not emotionally fulfilled I'm not happy I'm not content with what we have in this relationship and it's time for me to move on and find um, contentment with myself and when I'm ready find contentment in the relationship that I am looking for to be happy and content in this life, if you even want a relationship. Um, but it's just, it's almost like, well, I've put so much effort into it, it seems a shame to walk away, or we've spent, we've had all these good memories and all these good times, it'd be great if we could just go back there. But this is the card that recognises, do you know what, sometimes it's not going to go back to where it was. You can never go back to what it was. Too much has happened since then. You're not the same people. You've evolved. Um, and like it says on the card, change and departure. Um, yeah, maybe by retracting a little bit, maybe they will change. They will recognise that they've not put the effort in. Um, but equally, maybe you walk away and they don't, they don't return the energy in any way. And unfortunately, that's that's the end of the relationship or um, or you, you change to a different job and you're in the same career, but in a more fulfilling situation and more fulfilling place of employment with a better team that do support you because you could be feeling very unsupported, especially emo emotionally or mentally if this card is coming up. So it's about recognising that maybe there's a situation that you need to walk away from right now because it is not fulfilling your emotional requirements um, or 
any sort of form of fulfillment or contentment emotionally at the moment. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not a great card, but sometimes we need to hear a message of, oh, okay, this isn't, um, is this working for me? I mean, only you can make the decision to walk away. This card would suggest that maybe it's time to depart from something or at least change the dynamic in some way um, that is a complete role reversal. If it was going to change, it would need to be a huge change from where it is right now because right now you're not happy, you're not fulfilled. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I hope that is of some use to you this week, Cancer, um, and hopefully I will see you again next week. Bye for now.